what's going on everybody hope everybody's doing well sorry for the change of scenery or change of look or whatever but uh yeah, it's kind of messy over there don't want to show you guys but yeah i just wanted to do a quick little video on how you could just change up a basic dumbbell you gotta love it it's tutorial thursdays <music> Welcome to a Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just have to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload once or twice a week, and there's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, man, just being patient. Thank you for all the love and comments on that 12 funk video man and trust me i have broken down about four or five of those patterns i will try to reach out to those and i know some of you already asked for certain numbers that you want me to break down so i'll get those uh, fairly soon but yeah i'm kind of backed up with all these videos man and certain things i'm trying to introduce to this channel so yeah as you saw in the beginning of this video i took a basic tumbao forget two three or three two you could do this on either or by literally just moving one tone to another drum literally or just changing the way i'm going to do those two opens it's crazy because not many people are you know try to do this and not many people try to be this adventurous but yeah basic tumbao which is palm finger slap finger palm finger two opens very simple but now start to play around with those two opens either do the first open on your tumba to your dominant side and then come back and do the open here like for example It's the same thing. Don't let your ears fool you. It's just you moving one tone to another and it makes it sound so much more melodic. You gotta love it. Now let's see how it sounds by actually doing the first open on the conga and then doing the second open on the tumba. Just curious how it sounds. sounds a lot different maybe not you know so pleasing to the ear but it's very different now if you combine the two and you do the first open on your tumba and then the second time around do the first open on your conga let's see how that sounds Man, it just sounds like a beautiful song. It's like a beautiful melody just playing out. And literally, it's the same movement. Bass, finger, slap. Finger, bass, finger, two opens. It's crazy. But now, let's say you're trying to do the, you know, tumba where you hit the two opens here on the tumba, and you wanna spice it up again. Let's see how that sounds.
again do not let your ears fool you it's the same movement same exact movement all you're doing is rather than doing those two opens coming back from those two opens that you do on the tumba you're just gonna start at either one on the conga then the other one on the tumba or the one on the tumba then the next one on the conga very very simple it's the same exact thing let me let me slow it down for you guys so you guys could see Did you guys see it? Very, very simple. It's the same thing, same movement. Literally, all you're doing is just changing up the melody. Now, you can't do this for, you know, every salsa song or every Latin jazz song, but this allows you to kind of go and branch off to different genres, maybe something more contemporary, maybe some, you know, R&B, maybe some little pop, and it allows you to be a little bit more playful when you're actually using the tumbao, since the tumbao is just that versatile. And in some genres, you don't even have to do the two opens here, just do the two opens on the tumba, something like this. I use that a lot in R&B and it just adds, you know, lets you kind of play a little bit softer, a little bit more melodic, very chill. Yeah, but it just adds just more to your arsenal since, you know, you probably already know the tumbao, but you know, try to branch off, especially when you're starting to use two drums. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Just, you know, something to change a basic tumbao, make it a little bit more exciting. But you gotta love it. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.